Well, hello everybody. I hope you're doing well. It's Sunday and it's Mary at Yard Art R Us. I'm going to paint a ladybug. Last night I painted the bumblebee, right? So this is what I did last night. And tonight I'm coming on. We have these blanks in the store. I'm going to paint a ladybug. And it says, uh, there's a Basically three colors on here, black, white, actually four, black, white, red, and a red orange. Hey Joan, how are you? Hey Debbie, hey Monica, I'm going to paint this guy. I got most of them really space coated. Remember last night I came on and I did this, okay? And this is just this version, just a different color scheme and a little bit different, um, that's got a bumblebee, that's got a ladybug. So, but the first thing I'm gonna do, let me clean out my brush. Hi, Kitty, hey, how are you? Hey, Jennifer. Hey there, how are y'all? I am uh, and Anita and Kim, how are y'all? I'm going to do a little bit of gray. This is just number 24 gray. Uh, I like, I just obviously based on the white, red, uh, and this is red, orange. My ladybug's a little bit different. So. I'm going to just kind of take this. I like the idea of just breaking up. It's that, this has a lot of white on it. So I'm just gonna kind of break it up a little bit and give, give myself a little bit of gray back here. Not a whole, whole lot, but just enough to kind of break up some of that, um, just a little bit of gray on there, okay? Kim says, see you made it, got it. <laughs> I know I did. Thank you, Debbie, for sharing that. Hey, Sherry, hey, Joyce, how are y'all? I did, y'all. I had, uh, if y'all follow me on my uh, personal page, I was posting today because I was over at Ashley's. Uh, she and Zach wanted to go out for a little bit. Ashley hasn't been out since the baby was born, you know, just kind of get out of the house for a little bit. And uh, so I sat and held Oakley Ray as a good grandma. And y'all, for the most part, she slept. But there was, I got a little bit of time to look into her eyes. There were about 30 minutes, she was kind of awake. And this is the first time I've seen her have her eyes open like that. She was looking around. You can tell she's getting, she'll be a month old on Friday. So you can tell she's getting a little bit older. So I sat with her uh, in Ashley's house. And Ashley and Zach went out for, I don't know, they're only gone two or three hours. They went to eat crawfish or something. And uh, I just spoiled her and loved on her. Y'all, there's something, and those of you who are grandparents, y'all probably would say the same thing. There's something about your baby's baby, if that makes any sense. Terry says, I love ladybugs. This one is so cute, Terry. If there's not a lot to it, it's a simple design, but it's uh, it gets the good message a part of, or get good message out there of welcome. And, uh, I'm just kind of coming in here with these CNC lines, putting a little bit more paint in here. Paula actually base coated this for me because I have been doing a lot of projects. Y'all are going to see me this week doing a lot of new projects. Uh, I'll be on almost every day uh, between Patriotic and some of the new Christmas stuff we have and Halloween. Anyway, I digress. Paula actually base coated this for me and I'm just putting a little bit more paint in here making that word welcome really, really pronounced because that's really the, the what this sign is all about. So, but y'all holding at that age, holding and loving on your grandbaby. It is, uh, you know, Jennifer, I don't know, I, I can't really explain it, but I think grandparents feel that too, you know? It's like if you've ever had a child, you know what it's like, just how much you love them. And as a grandparent, there's just something about your baby's baby. I don't know. And uh, of course, Carly was with me. Carly's such a good big sister slash little mama. You know, if she thought she was kind of, she never said, I'm going to watch you, Nana. She never said that. But she kind of gave me the, the eye. You know, she was looking at what I was doing. And at one point, Carly said, Why don't you let me take her and I'll go change her diaper? I was like, Okay. So, Carly's a great, Carly's a great human being, period but she's just an awesome, awesome big sister. And um, she's so patient and she just kind of picks her up, took her to the back, changed her diaper, brought her up, and um, then a little bit was getting hungry, so Carly's over there helping make her bottle. And 
I said, Carly, you want me to feed her? She said, nah, I'm gonna feed her. So Carly fed her a bottle. But it was just real, a real sweet afternoon. We didn't do much. We sat on the couch, y'all. That's what we did. Ah, uh, Jennifer says 17 months and nothing. Oh, I know. Holden is just, oh, girl, you said it. And uh, I think the thing about being a grandparent, y'all, is that there's so much joy, but there's not the responsibility of being a parent. So you have more freedom. Of, I don't know. It sounds weird. I think it's less stress so that my brain is not all so much concerned about the work. My brain's all like, okay, party time, you know. And uh, and I have to say, y'all, um, I spent some time with Ashley when she got home. And just seeing my baby being such a good mom, which I already knew she was because she's been a great mom to Carly. But, you know, getting to witness that as a mom, y'all, it doesn't get any better to see your child as a grown adult, you know, doing what they need to do and doing the right thing by their kids. It, it just, uh, it just kind of, uh, it'll bring tears to your eyes sometimes, you know, when you just think about all the years of raising those kids and you're just, I, I had lots of doubts, you know, am I doing the right thing? How do I know what I'm doing is right? And uh, I know there was mistakes I made. I look back and I think, mm, I should miss the mark on that one, y'all. But I think a lot of parents feel that way. So, I had a good day. It was a good afternoon. We went over there this afternoon, had lunch and all that good stuff and stayed over there. Got back about six. And then, I, of course, I had to go outside and talk to my dogs because my dogs were upset because I was gone and I come home with the smell of Ashley's dogs all over me. So, you know how that goes. <laughs> Kira says, okay, I'm crying now. Yeah. Well, there's just something about it. Uh, I'm very blessed uh, to have Ashley as a daughter and to have Carly as a granddaughter and Zach as a son-in-law. I'm just extremely, extremely blessed. And I don't take that for granted, y'all. I really don't. I just, uh, I think about that a lot. And I think about, you know, how sometimes we don't always have good relationships with family members, even though we might want to, but it doesn't always work out that way. But I'm very blessed in that regard. And I hope I stay blessed in that regard. I think I will. Okay, I'm almost done with this. And then, this this is just about um, doing a little bit of more outline. And I think I'm going to, last night, I did the polka dots on the welcome. On the ladybug, the uh, bumblebee. I think I'm going to do some polka dots tonight. Now, obviously, if you don't like polka dots, then, you know, don't, don't go that route. I just do them because they're quick and I like them. And they look cute. But not everybody's a polka dot person, but I am. Uh, I will be coming on. Um, we are opening the Academy up, I think, on the 3rd, which is the 21st. So that's Tuesday? Yes, we'll be opening the Academy up. We have decided, y'all, that the... Uh, porch greeters are only going to be done in the academy as far as the tutorials so uh, if you really are thinking you want a porch greeter tutorial you've got to be in the academy for that you will sell the blank don't get me wrong you can buy the blank but the tutorials are going to take place in the academy I'm also this month going to do a tutorial over block poster we get a lot of questions for those of you that buy templates so we'll be, I will be doing a block poster tutorial uh, in May in the Academy. Uh, hopefully, maybe answer some questions for those of you that are buying templates. And uh, then also in May, we will be doing the Santa. I think I've shown it before. It's a uh, like a totem pole with uh, three signs and a Santa face. That's the one of the tutorials in May in the Academy. So we will be doing all of our porch greeters in the Academy as far as the tutorials. There we go, y'all. See, I almost have welcome almost all done. Love, this is uh, called a font called Marker Felt Wide. And um, it, it, I love this font. That's what the word welcome is. 
Ah, Kim says, y'all are such awesome family. Glad to be a part of the extension. You know, Kim, we try, and I, we're like every other family, I think. We have problems, uh, you know, we work on them, and we deal with them as best we can. Um, but I have to say, for the most part, we have, it, we have it down pat in that we don't always get along on every single thing, but we don't hold grudges either. So that's, if we don't agree, we just don't agree, you know, just... That's just the way it is. And you have to be respectful of that. So, I think the best thing I can say about my family, because there's something I can say about us that I don't think was too good, but we really don't hold grudges. If, if, you know, if you make me mad on Saturday, on Sunday, we just get up and start again. You know, I don't hold grudges. And, and I have to say, I don't think my sisters or my kids do either. And I'm blessed. You know, you can make me mad on Saturday or whatever. I'll tell you what I think, and we just move on. Exactly. We agree to disagree. Uh, oh, thank you, Debbie. I am so glad Debbie is on her toes and telling me what to do, because Debbie knows I need her. So if you're in the Academy, don't forget, we have Bring Your Own Blank on May 14th. That would have been two weeks from yesterday. And it's at the store, at our store here in Pearland. And if you're in the Academy, bring a blank that you have at home that you have bought and you have not finished for whatever reason. Maybe you haven't finished it because it's intimidating to you. Maybe you started on it and you thought it looked terrible and you just got dis disheartened and stopped. So bring your blank. The only thing we ask is that it's a blank from us. You could have cut it out yourself, that's fine. But one of our designs. And that's on May 14th on a Saturday at two o'clock. Ashley says she will be there, you know, unless little B gets sick or something. But at this point, she's planning on being there. Y'all are going to see the baby. And uh, her and I will both be on hand for any, and if you want a quick tutorial about something, then we can do that. We're there to support you in anything that's not working for you as far as you are. Now, I wish I could say we would do that in the rest of parts of your life, but hey, we can't do that. We only know about yard art. Hey, Ava, how are you? And Michelle, how are you? Robin, I'm glad you are hanging out with me. I am painting a ladybug welcome round sign. We have this in stock as a blank. Uh, and Heidi reminded me last night, I'm going to try to finish that tomorrow. I haven't put these up as templates, but I'll put the templates on the website. And uh, it's a simple welcome sign, good for year round. I'm just going to go around now, and I'm going to outline everything in black. I'll show y'all in just a second. I showed it at the beginning. I'll show you the uh, bumblebee one in a minute. It was yellow and black. This one's red, black, and white. And I'm just, I had to thin my black paint down to get it to go down into that CNC line, y'all. So if you're, if you're outlining and it does this part, can y'all see where it's not going down in there? What you do, Oh, I will. I will tell her that. Aunt Kim's going to hold Oakley. I tell you what, it's just fun holding a newborn. Yes. Well, she's at that age where she still sleeps so much. And about three or four months, she wiggles, y'all. She's a wiggle work. But uh, three or four months, she'll be really moving and wiggling, and, you know, not sleeping as much. So it's harder to love on. And uh, let me turn this around. And if you will notice, I don't know if the camera, you all can tell it, when I'm outlining, it is not a perfect line. I'm good, Debbie, how are you? I'm so glad you're here. You know, I am doing a um, ladybug welcome sign, something a little bit different than what we've done in the past. Uh, and then we are, um, I'm really trying to work on making myself uh, I've had a lot of projects that I have not put on Facebook as far as a tutorial. So you're going to see me doing some patriotic stuff this week. You're going to see me doing, um, I have a stencil course that I'm going to be teaching in the academy in June. I'm going to be teaching block poster in May, a stencil course in June. If you're a person that you sell your yard art, I, I really built my business a lot, y'all, on stencils that I used to order, Mylar stencils. And um, 
I have, I don't know, I sent Kitty Landry a bunch of them because I know she is going to, I, I don't use some of them anymore. But uh, I'm going to teach a whole series. So Kitty, if you're still with me, make sure you check out what we do in the Academy on, uh, I think that part is in June. I'm going to show you everything you need to know to use those stencils. And I'll even tell you where you can buy stencils if you want to do that sort of thing. When, um, if you're making multiples of the same thing and you want to do lettering or graphics or anything like that, I'll be doing that. All right, thank you, Debbie, for that. Once again, Debbie takes care of me. So, I look at this, and I don't, I don't think this is bad, y'all, but it's too plain for my taste, right? So, watch what happens as I did this last night on this sign, right? And all I did was do polka dots. That's it. So, I think what I'm going to do is we're going to do it this way. All right, so I just poke, I uh, put my sponge in there and I kind of dab it back off over here a little bit. And I just turn it one quarter, about one quarter of the way. And I come up and I'm definitely not trying to make these polka dots even or straight. I'm definitely trying to make them uneven. So, you know, I don't worry about if um, they're not perfect. With just a few polka dots, my design goes from kind of boring or not boring, but plain. Something with a little bit more pizzazz. And I just kind of get some paint on there, dab it off on here, twist. Something like that. Okay, and come over here. And you can see it doesn't take a lot of time to do this. <clears throat> And I think what I'm going to do is on this red, I'll probably put white polka dots. Oh, where's my Lazy Susan? I know, Debbie, I can't find them right now. I had so much, you know what, crap around here. Well, I say that, y'all. I've been doing a lot of different projects, doing some testing. Some of it, nah, didn't really care for. But so my brain's full of eating a lot of stuff. But the good news is, yesterday I did get in here and do a lot of work in here uh, because I know I'm going to be doing all the lives this week. Let's see, I'm going to do this over here. And you can see, if, with a, just a little bit of effort, don't take much and a little bit of paint. And this is definitely hand painted. So if you were to look at these and start measuring the distance between my dots and all of that, not perfect. But I think that's part of what the appeal is. And almost done. All right, let me wash this out. I have a little bucket of water down here, right? Uh, so, what was I saying? Okay, so we'll be opening the Academy on Tuesday. It's open Tuesday through Saturday. And then we won't open again until August. But I'll be doing lots of stuff this summer teaching y'all stencils, block poster, and I think we're gonna have a total of five porch graders that I'll be teaching in the Academy. Two for Christmas, two for Halloween, one patriotic. All right. I'm going to turn this around. Now, let me hold him up now. Just that little bit of polka dots, right? That's, it's nothing difficult. All right. So, we're going to come over here. And I've got my white. I think I might end up doing that, but I'm going to do this background first, Kim. But that's a good question. We're going to see. Okay. So, I'm going to do this. i got my white. And I just keep taking this white paint and I dip this down in there and I kind of dab it back off. Dip and then kind of take it off. It 
See, when you look at it, you don't really, um, it's just about placing the circle or the dot kind of in a random pattern where it doesn't look uh, like a straight line. You don't want a straight line or anything like that. You want it to kind of look a little bit random. could do, uh, I think Kim was asking about dots on here. We're going to have to do some. She's right. But i got to do some smaller ones and they got to be in black. Okay. Let's do this. So this is where I, I haven't been on this live very long because I had it all base coated, right? This is where we're at. And see, it's pretty simple. Not a lot to it. Okay, so let's do, I really want some black dots. Hold on a minute, y'all. So this is my, uh, my stash over here. Let's see if I can find a really small, let me use this one. I was thinking, This is probably the smallest one I can find. And this is a, uh, this is actually a Martha Stewart one, and I can't say that I like it any more than the cheaper ones you can get off Amazon or Walmart, but hey, this looks like the smallest one I can find. So I want a small one because I'm gonna put some black dots on this, uh, on my ladybug. Okay. So I put some on there and I kind of take it off. That's right. That's true. I thought about that, but I think that was too, too little. All right. So there's our ladybug welcome friend. So we have this one. And you can also do it with the pole like I showed you last night. We have this one. And we also have a butterfly one that I showed last night. So if you want to do rounds, I will put these uh, templates on the website. I haven't done that yet, but I will. And I'll post, I'll put a post on there that the templates are ready. But the blanks are at the store and they're ready to go. Academy opens up on Tuesday. I'll be teaching lock posters. June, I'll be teaching stenciling. Of course, we do our projects. And we're going to do all of our porch creators in the Academy. There won't, there won't be any tutorials on Painters Club or on Painters in the Making on those. So if you want those, you're definitely going to have to get in the Academy for that. Love it. Need to post a pic of all the finished ones. I'm going to do that tomorrow. I think the weather's going to be good, so I'm going to have my camera out. And Kim, I loved your El Maiden sign, what you did with the stars. I cut a custom sign for Kim that she did for a business in her hometown, and it turned out really, really, really cute. It looks good. Hey, thanks for hanging out. I will be here tomorrow. You're going to see me doing some patriotic stuff and some uh, other stuff. We will see y'all soon. Bye-bye.